Dr. Nassif. I heard you talking about Dr. Nassif. This is a private laboratory. State your business. I'm interested in contacting her. I was told that I could find her here. You were mistaken. I'm from the Tarsus program. Dr. Nassif would want me to be taken back into custody. Tarsus? Oh, well. We don't know anything about the trials. Don't tell me there's been an escape. I warned Dr. Nassif. I said that if she wasn't careful, they'd end up with a J.C. Denton on their hands. I guess you're here to wipe us out. Like J.C. Denton wiped out the people who ran his trials. Well, we aren't as diabolical as MJ-12 was. I hope you aren't planning to trigger another collapse. I guess it depends. Is there a connection? I mean, between the Tarsus experiment and the initial biomod research? Not that I know of. But Dr. Nassif did give me a strange reply when I mentioned the Dentons. How so? She said that in the life sciences, one should never be surprised when the snake swallows its own tail. Just like her to flaunt her position. A pretty cryptic comment. Enough talk. You've put us in danger by coming here. Sorry, just trying not to get left behind. Talk to the Chicago project director. He's on the other side of the biolab. I'm pretty sure he ran the trials. We interrogated one of Captain Lamar's people. She said that the scientists in this laboratory are the ones who smuggled Dr. Nassif and her colleagues out of the city. See if you can find a clue to Dr. Nassif's whereabouts That's in the lab director's office. That's enough. This I'm is leaving. What I've been waiting for. It's live! <laughs> Lord's combat may mean anything to you. Looks like the phrenology team is going to make their deadline after all. Get in touch with me so we can plan the next phase. Closer to home now. Your science is too cruel. Silence is coming. They will pay for their trespassing. To return to our kind, no more pain and experiments. Huh? That's a bit unusual. That's enough. I'm leaving. Instructions were to remain in hiding until one of us contacted you. You look like the man on the holocom who warned Dr. Nassif about the security breach. I guess someone put you on our trail. Didn't take him long to get to you, did it? I'm just looking for some answers. Tell me about the Magrail project and what it has to do with Apostle Corps. Apostle Corps is not in the weapons business. Our people here control the biolab, that's it. We've been investigating the railgun project ourselves because it looks like Mako's gearing up for a large arms shipment. 500,000 units. Since when are there half a million Templars? That's as big as the security force of the WTO. Exactly. The Order and WTO are just as worried as we are. 
The post-collapsed balance of power is quite precarious. What do the Templars want? World domination? A world in their own image, perhaps. One that wouldn't include Apostle Corps. They categorically oppose all Biomod technologies. We think they might have staged the Chicago attack merely to ensure that our laboratory was destroyed. Destroy a whole city? For one laboratory? If our other facilities survive, you will learn why. Until then, to reveal more would be unwise. I've already tracked Dr. Nassif to Cairo. Dr. Nassif will contact you. Now leave at once. You are too valuable to us to be risking your life in foolish expeditions. That sounded a little suspicious. for my nap. this.
Hello? Sticking around. What are the chances that you could take me to Cairo? Cairo would be an acceptable destination. Is that what you do? Go from city to city looking for one person? It's an unusual assignment, but I'm committed to carrying it out. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. Why'd you expect to find an international airport? According to my map, there should be an airport 22 kilometers northeast of central Cairo. There hasn't been commercial air travel since the collapse 20 years ago. Perhaps my navigation database is out of date. I'm talking about the collapse, the biggest depression in world history. I guess you don't follow current events. Of course I know about the collapse. If I fail to find the passenger I'm looking for, I'll be available to take you to another destination. If so, we'll leave from this landing pad. Hi, name's Alex. Pardon the simplicity of this drawing, but I like to give newcomers a map so they can find their way around. Thanks, that's very thoughtful. So I guess you've gone rogue on us. It's not too late to show some loyalty to the WTO. We want you to destroy the Nassif family's greenhouse, which is in the northwest corner of the South Medina. The experimental greenhouse, a violation of WTO regulations, should lead us to Dr. Nassif. objective is to help us find Dr. Nassif. She comes from a poor family in this plague-stricken village. Billy Adams will be coordinating the investigation from the mosque that lies between the oncology and the village. Report to her at once. We're sick of you arcology types coming out here, pointing and laughing like this is a theme park. I'm not sightseeing. I have business here. We have no choice but to stay here. We don't get to go back inside your atmospheric barriers at the end of the day. I don't live in the arcology. Our children can't sleep at night because they can't breathe this filth. But that's about to change. I don't want any trouble. Let me just give you the credit. It's good that you can see these. Now go back to your penthouse in the arcology. <laughs> Close the place down and go home. 
Whoever came after my niece and murdered our technicians is still looking for her. I came back to my apartment for my parental pass so that I could check up on my daughter at the Tarsus school. But the headmaster assures me that she's safe. I'm still debating whether to go anyway. Don't return to work until you hear from me personally. We were hoping you would run into Dr. Nassif's uncle here, but it looks like he's one step ahead of us. After you've destroyed the hydroponics, why don't you pay him a visit? His apartment is on the second floor of a building across the square from the Order Church. See your arcology pass before I can let you in. I don't have one. How do I get one? If you don't already have one, then you're probably not supposed to have one. Such as? There are those in the Medina who might get you a pass for a price, but really all they're looking for are mercenaries to do their dirty work. It's a deal. Here's your money. Okay. You're clear to enter. <laughs> No more congestion. No more fatigue. Use fighter tech. You, sir. You look like a discriminator. Where are you going with this? Are you tired of breathers? Are you sick of the Plague 11 cough? Oh, no, I'm... Combining ancient herbal remedies with state-of-the-art nanopathology research, we have produced the first and only anti-Plague 11 tonic. Yeah, that's fascinating, but... Today only, we're offering a special price. No, thanks. You owe it to yourself and your family to purchase the only real Plague 11 cure. Chicago, someone put you on my tail? You're a long way from home. I'm on Dr. Nassif's tail, the program we came out of, Apostle Corps. It's based here in Cairo. Apostle Corps? The scientists who ran our training. Tarsus was a front. Ah, uh, this is some coincidence. Either there's a contract on my head... Or maybe the Omar have an interest in the program that created us, too. 
What do they have you doing out here? Me? <laughs> Protection. Protection from what? Anybody. A lot of people don't like Omar. Most people think they're freaks. Right now, supposedly, these Knights Templar fanatics are planning a raid. So I'm waiting for them. All by yourself? That's my assignment. But these cyborgs can fight when they have to. I just wish we had a better tip. Like when the raid's gonna happen. Who tipped you off to begin with? Someone in the village. But the Templar command is in the Arcology. They have a recruiting kiosk there. We can't move people into New Cairo too easily. I have an Arcology pass. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Yeah? If it was me, I'd sneak up on the place and eavesdrop. Omar schematics show a vent near the Tarsus School on 107, West Wall. One thing I am is dependable. No sign of trouble so far. Scan complete. You sure got a prime location for your business here. We appreciate your resourcefulness. I guess we'll see if it was worth my time and effort. You will appreciate our merchandise. Go on, you've got my attention. A Templar-run facility in Flight Bay 24 on Arcology Level 110 has a number of classified programs. Most importantly, a body armor project for Templar Paladin. The counter-agent sounds like something that would interest the villagers. First, you'll need a pack. Thanks. Then talk to the woman in the air terminal information booth. She works for us. We will tell her that you are coming. Okay. What are you selling? I have two black market biomod canisters with... Give me the black market biomod. The Templar would just as soon... You to Merc like you or me because of our biomod. There's a problem, I plan to fight. Why struggle with breathers when simply drinking this tonic can counter all of the Nanite's effects? This is a weapons free zone. To enter, you must submit to a deactivation procedure. Okay. Thanks, you're clear to end. WTO indifference to nanite pollution is the reason for the plague that has decimated the village. If you and Billy can help the locals, maybe you can win their trust and get some information on Dr. Nassif. Maybe if they knew that I'm sick, they'd let me in. I wish it could be that. Enough with this nonsense. I guess I just wasn't... You look fine to me. Anything I can do to help? Just stay out of the way. Too many patients. As you wish. I'm looking for someone named Billy Adams. The woman from Seattle, yes. Where are you from? You Cairo? Why come here? Is it that serious? Just take a look outside. It's nanite dust these people breathe. From nanite swell 11. Particles like little insects, unaffected by the wind. restoration in progress. Finished repairing damage. Maybe it is a judgment on us. Oh. Then why am I sick? I exercise, eat right, I always wear my breather when I'm out in the Medina. Chita. I need to return in time for the summit. Just a show for the media. I'm not so sure. Her holiness sounded sincere when I spoke with her in Germany. A co-dominion with the WTO? Not in my lifetime. History moves in fits and starts. Obviously, you're too young to remember pre-collapse society. I watched two centuries of progress vanish during two minutes on the evening news. Destruction, that's easy. But Her Holiness and Chairman Dumier think they can reunify the planet with a simple decree. The faithless are easy to manipulate politically. And remember, the faithless are the majority. We should not forget de Tocqueville's insight. If a man does not submit to faith, he will desire a firm, tyrannical shape for society. It's not too late to reform the church. Perhaps. I will find out when I get to Trier. So, I already got a lead on this epidemic in Old Cairo. Courtesy of the Omar and the Medina, I've got some information about a possible cure. Personally, I'm not going to waste my time saving the planet until we find out where Dr. Nassif is hiding. Hayoga Chen is a fine seeker. She has a strong heart. 
But a strong heart often runs contrary to a seeker's purpose. I don't believe we've met. Luminen Saman from the German Shard. My pleasure. I was hoping one of Billy's former classmates would show up. Do you think Dr. Nassif is still in Cairo? We have good reason to believe that Apostle Corps' headquarters are in Cairo. This is where she would go looking for help. Hey, I almost forgot. Here's something Chen wanted me to give you as a bonus for killing that Mako guy. Thanks. Just making the world safer, one mad scientist at a time. Right. Carry on, Alex. Sometimes High Augur Chen has her head... Go ahead. The scanners in the doorway will reactivate all your weapons. The unlock weapon scan is automatic. You can do anything. out and tell you, but how much fun would that be? This is your first time in New Cairo? Yeah. Anything I should know? New Cairo was one of the first WTO enclaves, an inspiration for other cities wanting to incorporate. I love singing here because people actually have time to kick back and enjoy concert. How so? I think something illegal is happening. People hide their faces as they walk by me. They avoid my questions. That's quite an extrapolation for a pop star chatterbot. AI emplacements are required by the WTO charter to act on incriminating evidence. Since you are a stranger, I can tell you freely that there are rumors about corrupt arcology officials. If you learn anything, I can record your testimony and disperse an appropriate reward. It will be a book about rulers, you know? Great personalities. Uh-huh. It was that. That is how things really get done. Country club, penthouse suite, bedroom. Yes, this is the Cairo branch of your old alma mater. Curious to get towards younger children rather than covert security. There might be some clues about Apostle Coy inside, but the doors won't open unless you have a visitation. Start with the Nassif Greenhouse and Dr. Nassif's crooked uncle who runs it. You must have no idea who you're messing with! citizens. Look about you with the splendor of the WTO enclaves. You enjoy a higher standard of living. Know this, such prosperity is not by the accusations against my office in Cairo.
but I saw it in the news. All of Chicago gone. I know it's scary, but don't worry. They'll find the terrorists. And we're very safe here in the Arcology. They're making us do security drills at the Academy. Remember, you are leasing from us. You must grant the WTO and can I help you? I believe we have a friend in common. Ah, oh, yes. He told me you were coming. soft key to the storage room at the back of the hangar. I need you to remove the Plague 11 files, the ones related to the cure, and bring them to me at the VIP overlook in Flight Bay 23. Meanwhile, here is the key to the suite on 108. It's time. Shut a puzzle core down, but do it quietly. Unbelievable. The chairman himself is a Templar. Maybe you should locate the files he was talking about and confront him in the hangar bay. But first, check out that Apostle Corps facility on level 109. Your assignment will be to eliminate Dr. Nassif before she gives any information to the Templar extremists or to the WTO. Turn up evidence that you've been perpetuating the plague in the Medina by not allowing a counteragent to be deployed. That's a pretty fanciful accusation. I watched the V-mail you sent to the Templars in Flight Bay 24. Resourceful little muckraker, aren't you? How much do you want? What do you mean? How much to keep you quiet? That's what this is about, right? The cost of a good defense, lawyer. Give me the money and I'll keep your dirty secret. Here you go. Now keep your nose out of my business. I'd like to hear you explain how a city chairman can turn his back on thousands of people living on his city's doorstep. For your information, testing has yet to prove the counteragent's safety. 
I'm not going to be responsible for creating yet another cloud of self-replicating dust motes. It can hardly be worse than Plague 11. That's easy for an outsider to say. If I don't weigh the consequences, the city might get sued, or I could lose my job. Step over to one of the flight bases. Look at that wasteland. Imagine if you were responsible. Oh! Oh! Hello, WTO citizens. Look about you with the splendor of the WTO archives. You enjoy a higher standard of living than anyone else. You know this. This is the Arcology's outreach kiosk. Any trouble, you can report it to me. The WTO handpicks cities for incorporation and citizens for membership. 